Hi, my name's Emily Smith. I'm the Environment Manager at the Angling Trust. And today I'm going to be talking to you about the invasive shrimp, killer shrimp, and why you should care about it, how to ID it, and then what to do if you come across it. So the killer shrimp, in its name, is a very aggressive, invasive, non-native species, and it originates from the Ponte Caspian region. So this is Eastern Europe from the Black Sea and from the Caspian Sea area. And unfortunately, it has been spread by human activity and has invaded the UK. So it first came in in 2014, and it has been now found in several different water bodies throughout the UK, but we're really, really keen for it not to spread anywhere else. So it's really important that every angler learns how to ID it, and then to make sure that they take the necessary steps to try and stop that spreading elsewhere. So why should we care about the species? So as I said, it's very aggressive. Um, so it will attack and kill other freshwater insects. It will then outcompete those, but also it predates on fish eggs. So it means that you're losing that recruitment, that other species of fish to be able to then continue. So where it has been found, there are decreases potentially in, in the fish populations in those water bodies. And actually in certain waters where it has invaded, it's become so bad that actually anglers are having to resort to using different flies now because there aren't any other insects present in that water, which truly demonstrates the devastating impact that it's having. So how do you ID this species? So it's quite small. It grows up to 30 millimetres in length, but typically you find it about 10 to 20 millimetres. So actually the native um, gamerous is the similar size. So the real thing to really look for is if you look at the tail, it has these really small two triangles or two cones. And if they are a large individual, you can see that visibly with, with your own eye. You can also look at the antennae, so they can be more red in colour and sometimes it has a darker colouring on its back, but the really key thing is to look for those two cones. So if you think you found a killer shrimp, the key thing to do is take a photo of it, note your location and then report it. So you can do this on iRecord, which is either available on website or you can also get it on your phone. So if you report it, it then means that the local authorities, the responsible body know it's there and then they can get out there and try and control it and try and manage it. And this species survives for 14 days in damp equipment and damp nets. So it's really important that whenever you're going out fishing that you follow three steps to make sure you don't accidentally introduce it or spread it to another water. These two steps are check, clean, dry. So check, as it says, or as it sounds, is you just look at your kit, remove any plant material, any mud, anything else that you might find and leave that at the water. Secondly, clean. So thoroughly clean your kit, your clothing, your boots, look at the treads of them and the rims of your nets. And ideally, if you can, use hot water, 45 degrees for 15 minutes. Or you can use the dip tank or another washdown facility if your fishery has one. If not, make sure you do it when you get home. And the final stage is dry. So leave it out in the sunlight for 48 hours and this will give it the final wax. If anything has survived those first two stages, you can then be confident and know that it has killed off and been killed. And by following that, you're then not accidentally spreading the species from one to another. So key things, learn how to ID it. We have some really great guides on this or use the advice I mentioned today. If you come across it, report it, and then always make sure you follow Check Clean Dry. Thank you.